Hello, my name is Tim Downey. I'm a functional consultant with Western Computer. And today we're going to discuss the manual management of loads, shipments, and waves in warehouse management in Dynamics 365 for operations. Typically, the manual management in the fashion that will be displayed here is not an effective or efficient use in the warehouse, but it's important to demonstrate these principles of load, shipment, and waves because they are core concepts into the operation of successful sales order processing. In order to make this manual process happen, we have to make sure that we don't have any system parameters in the loads or wave templates that will automatically create loads, waves, or process waves. So in warehouse management parameters, we're going to look at loads and make sure that all of the automatically create loads at sales order, transfer order, are all set to no, which they are here. Additionally, in warehouse management, we will look at our wave templates and confirm the automate wave creation process and automate wave release are set to no. We will manually perform all these functions upon sales order creation and throughout the process. So to get started, we're going to start off by making a sales order. So we will create one sales order, which in turn will result in one load, one shipment, and one wave. We have to make sure we create a order from a warehouse managed warehouse. Okay. and also a warehouse managed item. Typically, an organization may release to warehouse upon order taking. Here, we're going to leave all the functionality to be manual, to be done by warehouse personnel in this situation. So we're going to go back to warehouse management and go to load planning workbench. You could access load planning workbench for directly from the sales order, but for purposes of this demonstration, we'll do it from warehouse management. You'll notice there are a few sales lines that need to be planned. This top one is the one that was just created, sales order 788. We're going to select that, click new load, select a load template. Load template represents the vehicle or container that the load, that the order will be shipped on. So we're going to just select the 20 foot container. Click OK. You'll note that it's no longer on the top pane. You'll find it down here on the bottom, created as load 11. Now we want to release this load to the warehouse. In order to release anything to the warehouse, the reservations for the items must be made. And so it's important to either manually reserve them or have your accounts receivable parameters set to automatic reservation. Okay, we're going to release that to warehouse and it looks like load 11 has been posted. Here's our status that reflects that. When a load has been posted, that just means that the shipment has been created. The wave has not been created or processed yet. So let's go into all waves and create a wave. We're going to go to maintain, or oops, we're going to go to new, create our wave, and we're just going to name it after our shipment, or our sales order number, and that was 788. We need to use a wave template, which is specific to this warehouse, and now we need to assign a shipment. Once I go into maintain shipments, only the shipments that are not assigned a wave will be displayed. So here's our one shipment that is part of our sales order 788. I'm going to add that to a wave. Now there's nothing more available to add to a wave. Close this, refresh the screen, and now you'll see our shipment and load are now part of this single wave. So everything has come together here. Our order is part of this load, which contains this shipment, and the work will be associated with this wave. 
No work has been created yet. You'll notice that the work is not activated there. But when I process this wave, work has been created. And work being the picking work in the warehouse to actually fulfill the order. Pick lists are ready, but they are not available for picking yet. A uh, warehouse manager at this point may wait until there's a collection of picking work to be done, and then he can organize it as he sees fit to get it done in the most effective way. And then at that point, he would release the wave for picking. At this point, the pick list would be printed, and the work would be completed by a warehouse worker using the mobile device app with a mobile device. Then the shipment would be confirmed. Backing slips would be printed and the shipment would be off to the customer. So that completes the process of the manual management of the waves, shipments, and loads. As noted earlier, this is not a ideal process for a normal operating warehouse. It's very cumbersome, but it's important to understand how each of these concepts work and relate among each other and the sales order. So in summary, this process would never be used on a day-to-day -day basis, but pieces of this process might be used frequently throughout the warehouse. So thank you very much and look for future videos on automating the same scenario with a single order, wave, shipment, and load, as well as scenarios and manual and automated processes with multiple orders, shipments, and waves and loads. Thank you very much.